All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Thundershot, and welcome to my Wisp gameplay thoughts, etc. I didn't get to show off uh, Wisp gameplay in the actual game because we didn't unlock him until like the very last mission or the mission before that. So when the game was over, I didn't. I mean, you know, I had already finished the game without getting to play Wisp, so I'm gonna play Wisp here for you guys today. Uh, but before we get started, I want to point out that I've already done a Super Saiyan God Goku uh, thoughts gameplay review, everything like that. The link to that will be down below. Along with that, I have a video I made. I'm really proud of. Um, it's called the best or the perfect Dragon Ball Z game and I go on a little three minute rant where I talk about what it would take to make the absolute best Dragon Ball Z game ever that would sell a bajillion gazillion copies that everybody wants and all that stuff And I'll put a link to that down below uh, make sure to check out both those videos before watching this one Just I don't know it'll kind of catch you guys up to speed But anyways uh, the first things first we run into both a problem with Wiss and the game itself right away Or at least the AI in the game itself Wiss has zero gap closer, and Wiss is a melee support type, and this is bad because Vegeta is a key blast type, so uh, you would have saw me a couple seconds ago, I was flying around trying to get a handle on Vegeta, I couldn't get close to Vegeta, he would knock me away, you can rewind the video if you missed it, Vegeta would knock me away every time I tried to get close to him, so I flew around the outside the entire time waiting for my team to join in, and I was mashing uh, the right, right button on the directional pad, which is telling my teammates to all focus one person. And since I'm focusing Vegeta, we should all be focusing Vegeta. So even though I was standing there mashing for my teammates to go focus Vegeta, because if anybody punches him, just one punch, one key blast, then I can get close to Vegeta and start wailing on him. But since Wiss doesn't have a gap closer, I have to fly around and rely on my AI teammates who weren't listening to my commands. So that's a little bit of a problem with Wiss himself. He doesn't have a gap closer, and that sucks if he tries to one-on-one -on -one a key blast type. And then, of course, the problem with the game being that I told the AI repeatedly, I was mashing right off the right directional pad, I told the AI repeatedly to go focus Vegeta, and nobody ever went and threw so much as a single punch. Um, but besides from that, that Wiss overall, now I'm going to tell you guys right now, just so you know, we uh, fail this mission. This is, a kind of, this is kind of a long mission, it drags on a little ways, but we end up failing it near the very end. So if you're here to see a huge victory or anything like that, don't stick around. And most of the reason we failed one is because I'm not a good Wiss. This was my, this was like my third or fourth time ever playing him. And two, I was trying to show off some of his moves, and some of his moves are pretty situational and kind of hard to pull off. Um, I'll point it out when it shows up. But there's a couple moves of Wiss I was trying to show off, and it ended up I got my butt kicked pretty hard for it. Uh, but let's talk into how I feel about Wiss overall. Um, I'll do the whole big review at the end, but he's not bad. He's no Bills. He's not as fun as Bills, and I don't think people are going to pick Wiss over Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, simply because Super Saiyan God Goku. But he's not really, again, he's has the same problem Super Saiyan Goku had in that he lacks the wow factor, okay? His special move is something. I'll talk about that in a second. And his supports are okay, but he, like I said before, he has no gap closer, which is both bad because he's a melee champion. He needs a gap closer to get. He needs a gap closer to get closer to uh, other people. I called him a champion, didn't I? He's a melee character, so he needs a gap closer to get closer, so that way he can melee them in the face. Uh, but he's also supports. So that's where another gap closer would come in handy because he needs to get to people who are down to revive them. So it kind of puzzles me why they didn't give him that. He would have been the overpowered good melee support that I would have expected if they would have given him a way to dash uh, to both friendlies or enemies relatively quickly. That would have made him a really good melee support, but since they took that key element away, he's just, he's kind of alright. Uh, his super attack there I just threw, I can't remember if I threw one earlier or if I'm going to throw one in a little bit, but it's a big ball. It's a big ball like we see a lot of people have. As we know, Bills is the only one who has a really cool special where he throws a big ball and then follows it up with a blast. Wiss's is just a big ball, but the special thing about Wiss is it it doesn't matter where they're at. This thing this thing will take crazy sharp turns in order to hit the enemy, so it will almost never miss. As long as you throw it at someone who isn't in that invulnerable stage where they're between uh, being downed and getting back up, uh, it's going to make a super sharp curve. It's almost guaranteed to hit him no matter what. Like, I could even see Goku throwing an instant transmission and the ball curving to go get him. You know, it's just, it's that crazy, uh, it's that crazy strong. It's got a wicked turn to it. And like I th like I said, I think I only showed off once, and I think it happened already here. Um, so that kind of sucks. But his super is not a bad one. I normally don't like the big ball supers because they tend to miss. But with this one being almost a guaranteed hit, I don't mind his super attack at all. Aside from that, his L2, you may have seen me use it a couple times incorrectly already. I was testing to see if it could go through walls. I'm pretty sure it can't. But you may have seen me use his L2 a couple times already. And I think I'm about to use it again once I stand up here. Uh, his L2 is he stands back and he looks at all of his allies when you hold L2 and then once it locks on you can let go of L2 and he'll just spam uh, health to everyone in his everyone that he can see everyone in his vision right here there we go I'm showing it off 
Like I said, you just stand back, you, it'll lock on, and then you just spam away. I don't think I'm hitting the person on the other side of the bridge, because like I said, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go through walls. But you can heal your entire team. Now, that's a good thing. He may not have the ability to revive people, but he can keep them healed up pretty darn well, which is good. And then his R2, I'm getting my butt kicked here. I think I'm going to show it off any second, though. His R2 is a melee stopper. It's a counterattack to where if they hit you, I think I'm about to show it off. Um, I think I use it on trunks or something. Um, but if you push R2 and then they attack you, you do this super cool bit. This is why I'm getting my ass kicked, though. I'm trying to show it off now. It's not working. Um, there we go. I pushed R2, and then when Trunks swung at me, I teleported to behind him, and then I hit him with a couple shots. It's okay. It's, it'd be really good against melee types, but overall, it's it's kind of... I would have rather that been the gap closer because it's really situational on when that R2 is going to work. But yes, if you're getting pummeled by a melee character and you can catch it before... Because once he starts hitting you, there's no way out of it unless you have a super attack. But if you can catch him right before he starts hitting you, you get to teleport behind him and uh, beat him up a little bit. Now, I really... I'm not 100% sure that the risk is worth the reward here. Here we go again. I'm spamming for my team to go help me with Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. I can't take any more Key Blasts, otherwise I would try to rush him myself. But I don't have a gap closer. There's nothing I can do here to get... Uh, uh, to stop Super Vegeta, or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, I mean. And I just have to wait and hope that my teammate throws stuff, and then when they never do, I eventually go down, and then we lose the thing. But, uh... No, what was I talking about? Oh, anyways, yeah, I don't think the reward is quite worth the risk of using, because if you push the R2 button to use that move, use the counterattack, and they don't swing at you, let's say they fire up the super attack, you're stuck there, and you have to take the super attack to the face, pretty much. It doesn't give you, I mean, you know, you're there for a, a little while trying to block it. And it's not really worth it overall. Um, and aside from that, all you really get to do is they miss their punch if it does hit. If you do get it to hit, they miss their punch, you teleport behind them, then you get a free smack on them. Uh, that's about all I've got for Wiss, though. I would say there are definitely better support characters out there. You should go Android 18, you should go Adolescent Gohan, someone like that. There's also definitely better melee types out there. Uh... Super Saiyan God Goku, for example, is a good melee type. Super Saiyan Bardock is one of my favorites, even though his power level doesn't really cut it anymore. I think that's the end of the game. None of my teammates revived me here. But yeah, so Wiss is okay. He's definitely not a bad choice. I run him as a computer sometimes just to do it, I guess. I can't really say he, whether he's good or bad in that regard, because like I said, he doesn't have a gap closer to come revive you with. But I run him as a computer. I'll run him, Android 18, and Adolescent Gohan when I do my missions and stuff. But that's about it. That's all I've got on Wiss. He's okay. He's not bad. He's kind of a letdown being he's supposed to be the strongest in the universe, but that's about it. Also, real quick, I know this video is wrapping up, and you might be looking at a black screen for a second or two here, but I wanted to say, how did they determine he was a support melee type? Because the only thing I would have got from the Battle of the Gods movie is he's a support type because he, wake Bill, he wakes Bills up and he takes him places and all that stuff. I can kind of understand that, but did they make him a melee type? I literally think they made him a melee type because at the very end of the movie, he slaps Bills on the head and knocks him out for three years. I think that's the only. I think that one slap to Bills is what made them be like, yeah, yeah, Wiss is totally a melee type, guys. We should totally go with that one. I don't know. I don't know. Logic and reasoning, whatever. But yeah, that's my video for today. Like I said, check out the two videos below if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. I may have one more character I need to do. I need to review, guys. We'll see how it goes. But I think that's gonna do it for now. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.